This is the Drip Depot half inch tubing two zone head assembly kit with inline filters. The first item is going to be your Y faucet connector. You want to check and make sure that the washer is in the Y connector. The Y connector is attached to your faucet and creates two independent lines. When attaching to your faucet, make sure that you hand tighten. Do not over tighten as over tightening can cause cracking in the Y faucet connector. The next item to be connected is the backflow preventer. You want to check and make sure that each backflow preventer has a green washer in it. The backflow preventers will be attached to each side of the Y faucet connector. Do this by hand tightening. Do not over tighten. The next item is the inline hose filter which has a removable screen that allows for cleaning of the filter. Also check the washer in the filter. Make sure it is there. The inline filter is attached directly to the backflow preventer. Again, do not over tighten as over tightening can cause cracking in the filter. The next item is the pressure regulator. Check to make sure that it two has the green washer. The pressure regulator is attached directly to the filter. You also want to hand tighten the pressure regulator to the filter. The last item is the hose swivel adapter. To use, screw the locking nut back, exposing the barb. Push your tubing over the barb. Screw the locking nut forward. This locks the tubing into place. Now connect the hose swivel adapter directly to the pressure regulator. This kit comes with a permalock hose swivel adapter, which is reusable. Remember when operating your drip irrigation system that you want to have the faucet completely open. If it is not, it creates problems with pressure throughout your system. As you can see, the length of the head assembly on each side is around 12 inches. So you need roughly 12 inches of clearance in either direction to use this setup. 